There's a change coming to your drinking water, but you probably won't taste it. I'm Fox 4's community correspondent Mahmoud Bennett, and for decades, the mineral fluoride has been added into public drinking water here in the United States. But on Tuesday, community leaders agreed that'll come to an end here in Collier County. After nearly three hours of debate, Collier County commissioners unanimously voted this week to halt any addition of fluoride into the county's public drinking water. Passionate opponents told commissioners this common practice, which experts say supports dental health, violates their individual health freedom. Fluoride is a chemical that's added for medical purposes. It's a total violation of the principle of informed consent. Research studies I tagged in your affidavit are displaying damage to IQ, kidneys, and livers from exposure to fluoride in public water. Commissioner Dan Kowal even suggested adding fluoride to public water goes against the county's recently passed Health Freedom Bill of Rights. Are we medically treating our citizens of Collier County by placing the fluoride in the water which I've seen in every study I've seen refers to it as a medication for dental health. Are we in violation? But some local health experts vehemently disagree with the county's decision. Learn the facts, learn the science. Dr. Alexis Dzinski, a dentist and the president of the Collier County Dental Association, tells me the data is clear. Fluoride is safe and improves oral health. Fluoride is important in water because we're getting it systemically. Yes, we are getting it through our toothpaste. We are getting it through topical varnish applied to the dentist. But having fluoride in our water is providing kind of a baseline of fluoride in our saliva that's going to help prevent against decay in our teeth. According to the CDC, all water contains some fluoride. The mineral occurs naturally on Earth and is released from rocks into the air and soil. The American Dental Association says more than 80% of America's largest cities have fluoridated water. Dr. Dzinski tells me removing it could mean more visits to the dentist, which could hit some communities harder than others. We have a very large underserved community in Naples, in Collier County, that don't have access to dental care. A lot of them are younger children who really benefit from this. Official data shows that halting fluoride from public water could save the county over $300,000 every year. Reporting in Naples, Mahmoud Bennett, Fox 4.